Here, you see a PowerPoint slide with a list of key terms. There are too many words to display as is. As you can see, they are listed all on the left in a tiny font. There are three possible solutions. One, I could spread the terms across several slides. I would still have the wasted space on the right, but at least the font would be full size. Two, I could design a master slide with three smaller text areas side by side. That takes a very specific skill and still requires that you manually decide how many words to put into each column. Or three, I could format the slide to display multiple columns. To do that, I right click on the slide inside the text placeholder, select Format Text Effects, click on the rightmost icon, click on Columns, select three columns, and click on OK. There you have it, three columns. This approach has two major benefits. One, if you add or remove terms, PowerPoint automatically adjusts how the list breaks across columns. Two, if this were a numbered list rather than a bullet list, PowerPoint would automatically continue the numbering across all three columns. There are also two minor drawbacks. One, if you must reset the slide, the number of columns is reset to one and you must redo the columns. Two, PowerPoint will not automatically break the column at the bullet points. That is, a bullet point with two lines, like the third one, could end up split across columns. You can manually fix this by adding a blank bullet at the bottom as required.